guys so the next stock that we're breaking down for this morning is american airlines or ticker symbol aal i have my lines and graphs already set we're starting from a higher time frame that being the daily interval you guys so let's go ahead and dive in so yesterday we closed nearly down or up almost five percent uh now pre-market we're kind of down only 0.14 percent so nothing really crazy not even one percent you guys um, let's look at our volume. So we're at 43,000. We want to see that at least above 150,000 before the market opens, which will be in another hour and a half. So you guys always want to keep that in mind. Okay. So let's go over our support and resistance lines and then we'll get into more on depth on where we're at currently. So this top line up here at the $25, $25 area is our highest level of resistance tested. We look left, you guys, you can see we came up in this area, uh, popped up, came back under, consolidated, popped up again, ultimately rejected underneath, pulled back down, pulled back up. In the same vicinity, we kind of got rejected here and we got rejected here. So we have these three tested areas, you guys, you want to test these areas at least three times we look down here is our lowest level of support tested and you see that the 24 uh, 20 dollars and 42 cent area so this will work as a support so you can see we bounce from here 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 and over here and over here we kind of uh, created this breakout and gap up which i'll get into right now we can zoom in so you can see that once we hit this support line we kind of came under we gap down gap back up created this small little breakout gapped up and now uh, created another breakout, which is right over here with, between these candlesticks and these candlesticks. So we are technically in this upward trend now where, where we can see that on the trend line itself, on the RSI, it doesn't look like we're oversold, not just yet. So we still have some room that we could be moving up to. Uh, so as of right now, I don't really see this as a bad buy. Uh, if you wanted to get in, I would have your at least your stop loss underneath the $20 area. So anything underneath these candlesticks, maybe at the $19 area. Uh, so if we do break back below, you'll be able to get tagged out and wait for a better entry. Uh, but as of right now, with us being in this upward trend, we're above the trend line. We have a gap up. Um, I don't Like I said, I don't really see an issue with getting in. Your first target would probably be around the... 22 44 cent area so not really much because we do have all these prior pivots back here so we might come up into the 22 dollar area uh, which we are at now so maybe another 44 cents and then we might pull back and retest our support level which is completely normal you guys you guys want to see this and it doesn't mean that we're going to start a downward trend it just means it needs to retest that support for ultimately going higher so this is what you see or call a correction um, this may pump up higher, but like I said, you always have to keep in mind of all the, the prior resistance that you have, okay? So like I said, your first target would probably be around the 22, 44 cent area. And if we do break above there, then your second target would probably be around the 25, $25 area. And uh, that'll be our highest level of resistance tested, you guys. So as of right now, I don't really see this as a bad buy. Like I said, you wanna have at least your stop loss underneath the $20 area, but other than that, I like to make these videos really fast and efficiently. And if I helped you in any type of way, please hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to create this content for you guys Monday through Friday or every other day. But other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading.